our favorite festivals in India is Deepavali or Diwali as it is known in the north. There is nothing to match the excitement when crackers flip off in the night sky with a loud bang and a brilliant shower of colors. Many of us might wonder how these fireworks are made and what goes into them. The physics and chemistry of fireworks is as interesting as the sound and the light they emit. The science of fireworks is technically called pyrotechnics from the Greek word fire meaning fire and techniques meaning an art. Pyrotechnics includes not only fireworks but also a whole range of devices that use similar materials and principles from safety matches that we use every day to solid fuel rocket boosters of the space shuttle. The household match is considered a special pyrotechnic device as all the pyrotechnic effects that is heat, smoke, light, gas and sound are present in it. Some historians say that black powder, the basic material used in fireworks, was invented in India. Shukranti, written more than 2000 years ago, has references to weapons similar to guns and projectile weapons. However, the Chinese are generally considered the pioneers of pyrotechnics. They are said to have developed black powder more than 1000 years ago. It took at least 200 years for the knowledge to spread to the West and it was only in 1242 that an English monk, Roger Bacon, revealed the formula for black powder. He considered it such a dangerous substance that he wrote of it in a code language. The basic formula of the black powder or gun powder has remained unchanged for centuries. It is a blend of potassium nitrate, charcoal and sulfur in the ratio of 75 is to 15 is to 10 by weight. It is almost the perfect combination as it is and no further improvements or alterations need to be made. Experts say that this might be the only chemical product still using the same age-old proportions and manufacturing techniques. However, with the development of modern chemistry, light and color effects have become common in fireworks. In the last century, the discovery of aluminium, magnesium and titanium, which burn at high temperatures emitting bright light dramatically, improved the brilliance of fireworks. Similarly, colors too are a recent development. The principal color emitters in pyrotechnics were identified after decades of research. These colors are formed in one of two ways, luminescence and incandescence. Incandescent light is produced when a substance is heated so much that it begins to glow. Heat causes the substance to become hot and glow, initially emitting infrared, then red, orange, yellow and white light as it becomes increasingly hotter. When the temperature of a firework is controlled, the glow of its metallic substances can be manipulated to be a desired color at the proper time. The principle behind any firework is that when heat is applied to fuel, that is the gunpowder, it burns using oxygen. However, because the fuel is packed tightly to keep the heat in, the burning takes place all of a sudden. It causes the characteristic loud noise. The actual manufacturing process of firework is simple. The raw materials required are fuel, binders, oxidizers to make it burn and a few other materials. The ingredients are ground and mixed well. The mixture is pushed through a machine from which it comes out as long rolls or strips and then rolled in 
cardboard or old newspapers with a fuse. The greatest danger of pyrotechnics is that it deals with fire. The industry is notorious for its accidents, whether in the USA, Japan or India. Though the mixture is stable if kept cool and dry, it can catch fire if heat is accidentally applied through too much friction sometimes or from a spark or an impact. Scientists are looking for ways of making fireworks safer. In India, fireworks used to be imported from China. During the Second World War, these imports were stopped and the safety match producers of Shivakashi in Tamil Nadu began manufacturing fireworks for Dipavali. In 1992, the country used about 60 crore worth of firework and 60 to 70 percent of this came from Shivakashi. In Shivakashi, fireworks are manufactured in a number of small units. Three months before the festival is the busiest time for these units. Fireworks are transported to every nook and corner of the country. The working conditions of these units are however far from satisfactory. There are very few testing facilities for quality or uniformity and hardly any safety measures in force. That is why we hear of accidents in Shivakashi year after year. It is very difficult to get information on how to manufacture fireworks because it is not considered safe to give everybody the details. Only very few reliable persons are taught this art. In many countries, fireworks are not allowed to be used by individuals. Only community displays, specially organized with the help of experts, are allowed. A great deal of care is taken for safety at these displays. However, since even children are allowed to play with fireworks in India, it is important to observe certain safety rules. Fireworks should be stored, handled and lit with care. They should never be stored or unpacked near a flame, gas cylinder or heater. One should never wear long, loose clothes or nylon clothes when lighting crackers. And since the powder in crackers is poisonous, they should never be carried loose in your pocket or your hand. Also, fireworks should never ever be lit inside a house. Never bend over a firework when you are lighting it and never use fireworks to frighten people. If in spite of being careful, you do get a burn, go to a doctor instead of applying oil or ointment. With care and consideration, we can make our favorite festival a much safer one.